Hi everybody. Welcome to Shredding Saturday number two. Today we're talking about playing three notes. Per string. On the guitar. My three notes per string is not going to be about playing the major scale. In all the various positions that you can do the major scale. Because you could find a lot of different videos all over the internet how to play any major scale using three notes per string on the guitar. It's very useful. It's very good to know. It's something you should know. Today I'm just showing you a little trick, hack that you can use to shred using the pentatonic scale. And what we're going to do is make sure that when we play the pentatonic scale, we always have access to three different notes. I'm going to concentrate on box one because I'm a big believer in box one. So box one, we're in the key of B today, B minor. One of the beautiful things about the pentatonic scale is there's only two notes usually on every string. The scales I'm going to talk about incorporate three notes on any string. This is pretty much my favorite one. I messed up. There's a couple other choices on the strings where you have one and four, but we're not going to go into that right now. I'm just going to use this for you. And it's basically going to be against a B sound. So here we go. I'm going to put on a backing track, give you a better shot of my guitar, and uh, get going. So again, most of that was just putting in an extra note in between the two notes that happen usually out of this very common form of the pentatonic scale on the guitar. This is the minor pentatonic scale. The notes we're putting in uh, in relation to the scale are on this E string we're playing the B, the C sharp is the major second, D is the minor third. E is the perfect fourth, F is the flatted fifth, F sharp is the perfect fifth, A is the minor seventh, A sharp is the major seventh, and this is the octave again, B. D is the minor third, then you have the major third, D sharp. Then E, perfect fourth, F sharp, perfect fifth, then G sharp is your major sixth, A is your minor seven, 
B is your root again, followed by C sharp, which here would be probably called the ninth, and then D is your minor third. So all of those notes... sound real good against any kind of B jam. I'll, I'll do it for you one more time. This time what I'll do is I'll start off where I can only play two notes per string. And then go into where there's three. So as you can see, part of why people like playing three notes of string is because it's real easy to get your pick to go down and up and get it to do it pretty quickly. So here's the backing track again. Two notes first into three notes. Two notes. notes two notes two notes this is all two notes Here's three. So that's using the minor pentatonic scale. A couple deviations from the minor pentatonic scale would just be to use a fingering pattern. I've seen a lot of really fantastic players do it and they do it effectively. Basically what you're doing is you're picking a form. In this case, I'll pick one, three, four. So even here, we go out of key. Mainly on these two strings. But when you do it fast, and you're still playing over the sound of B, you can get away with it and it sounds pretty cool. So this is just using finger one, three, and four. Here we go. Especially if you stop on a B. There I didn't stop on B, but So if you know a little bit more about your theory, you can use the same one, three, four, and get it to work by doing this little trick where you play the first six notes, you play them an octave higher, then you go back to your regular box that you were in and play the other six notes that are left. And this is going to sound really cool because it sounds like you're switching keys when you do it. And in a way, you kind of are, especially on these last two strings. So let's let you hear it against the track.
another thing that I like to get everyone to be able to do is just you take these six notes and you play them in three octaves. I mean, that's just going to sound good no matter what kind of song it's in, what you do it in. So incidentally, this is strictly out of a minor scale. So it doesn't usually sound too hot over a major chord, but if it's metal... Probably nobody would care. But here's what that sounds like against the backing track. The other thing you can do with the same minor scale is instead of moving it higher, up to here, you could if you want to move it lower. So it's all about just moving the same fingers on two sets of strings. track on. getting too long I could show you some others but I don't want to go over my time limit on the video so I'm going to leave you with those ideas today shredding number two playing three notes per string but not within the major scale more within the minor pentatonic frame or the minor scale frame